Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf here at the Second Swing Tour event in Minnetonka with a video on hybrids. It is our best of series for 2024. The first part here early in the year, we've got four hybrid models here, Kevin, um, mm -hmm. released here early in 2024. Um, it's a very exciting time and I think a lot of golfers now are starting to realize that maybe playing four irons and five irons is not so, uh, not optimal for them. I haven't had a four hybrid in or a four iron in the bag in yeah. 15 years now. Right, right. And so one of the options to replace that is going to be the, these hybrid models. Yes. So, um, Kevin, talk to me about what you've seen about you know with these hybrid models. We've got Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke. We've got TaylorMade QI10. We've got Cobra Dark Speed, and we've got the Mizuno uh, ST Max. Yeah. So what have you seen out of these so far early on? So. Early early returns, Callaway and, and Taylor made leading the charge. Mm -hmm. um, Cobra, I've I've actually been told is really good, but I almost always default to the King Tech hybrid, which is a, yeah. a, a last season's model, and uh, and that one just I I have some feels about that yeah, one. Yeah, I so, know you do. Um, so that one is the one that tends okay. to that I I tend to, to do the most yep. with. And uh, this guy's kind of new, so uh, I haven't had much much in-store experience with this one. Yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll we'll see as the season goes on. Yeah, I think you're gonna see. You know, there's slightly maybe different lofts here as I'm seeing. Maybe maybe. Yeah, there's not, the, look, 21, there's, 22. You know, we're no, all gonna play. We're gonna use them as four hybrids. Yeah. There's guys. no standards in golf, so yeah, yeah there's gonna be right, some, yeah, so there's gonna be some variations right. there. And um, we've also got kind of basically stock stiff mm -hmm. shafts with these for the most part here, so. It's not going to be a perfect apples to apples, but um, it'll be, be as pretty close. close. As we can make yeah, it. as close yeah. as we can make it right now for this test. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're going to hit some hybrid shots. We're going to probably hit yeah. six to seven with each model, and uh, we'll see what the numbers tell us, and then we'll come back and review the performance, innovation, uh, look, sound, feel at the end. Perfect. All right, so Kevin, we'll start with Mizuno ST Max 230. Good. Um, another sort of addition to the Mizuno ST family here. Yeah. Um, kind of a higher MOI, I, I guess I don't, we'll see, but it, I yeah. feel like it'll be the sort of, maybe the largest footprint of the four, but. It's, it's not that big. It's really? It's pretty standard size, really. I mean, I, I've seen some significantly bigger. Yeah, hybrids. okay, yeah. fair enough. Yeah, you're uh, the one looking at it, I'm yeah, over here. I don't, I don't look at this as, I think this is actually smaller than, than my King Tech. Oh, well then I, so, I'm, in, I'm in the wrong, I'm over here. My you're perspective not, you're, is incorrect. You're not in the wrong. You're just. Well, if it's if it, yeah. I you weren't. You weren't properly. I don't know. Introduced. Introduced. Yeah. Yeah. Here, this is the this is the this mm, is the. Hey, very nice to meet you. Two thirty max. max. Two thirty. Okay, you're right. You're right. <laughs> not, not not overly big. No, it's not. It's a pretty normal looking hybrid. Mm. I mean, I've seen some hybrids that really look like fairway woods. Yeah, they're, they're, I mean, there are some so, out there. Yeah. yeah. All right. See what we can get with the get this thing to do. It's a pretty darn good start. Okay. Caught just a touch behind that one. I did hear that. Yep. That one felt good. It was a good one. That was smoked. A little turny. Does that draw? Uh, this one has wanted to draw for sure. That was hit pretty good too. Wow, it's a lot of curvature on this. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Let's see. I think we've got probably this one as a sort of yes bad strike, if you the will. The so whoopsie. Yep. We've got. Five good ones up there with the ST Max from Mizuno. Um, what do you think? What do you think of that one? It's good. Um, slightly different numbers from the the overall ST Max line yeah. video that we did. Yeah. And I think I figured out one of the reasons why we were getting lower ball speeds, where we saw you know a couple higher ones here. Um, impact location on this this head seems to need to be a little more for me what it feels like to the heel yeah. my tendency is with pretty much everything except irons 
to be a little bit to the toe. Okay. And I think this is a little faster, more toward the the, the run bird and just mm. slightly to the heel. Okay. Because a couple of those that I hit with it had had a higher smash factor, were definitely more centered rather than than yeah. slightly toey. Yeah. Because we didn't see four eight right and here. four seven before, and both of those felt yeah. very much centered or slightly to the heel. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. So we have your your theory is proven here with yeah. with the help of TrackMan. Yeah. So. Um, but I will say these numbers are very good because yeah. the you were hitting the ball, you know, you had some different strikes in there, um, but the carry distance was pretty similar throughout two o ten. I mean, or, or two o two o ten. Two o ten. Two ten. Two ten. Two o nine. Two fourteen. Two eleven. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, kind of, you know, you didn't like completely miss the ball, but no, you, were, no, you no. know, if you were hitting it around the face a little bit, it still went. Pretty similar distance. Sure, for sure. So um, I like the trajectory with it, right? Blah, very golf high. club, golf club that we're hitting coming into the greens. Let's yep. get a good good descent angle. So that height is really very helpful. Um, carry yardage at two ten. Okay, pretty decent or two eleven. Pretty good. Um, yeah, overall really good. If this one does. We saw earlier this it's, this one likes to turn. Right? Yeah, it so does. This is, yeah. If you've got somebody that needs a hybrid that that wants to go to the left mm -hmm. a little bit, this is this is definitely one yeah. that will do it. Yeah. All right. Now we'll go. go to dark speed. I'm curious if we get more draw the rest of the way or not with yeah. other other clubs here. This is the dark speed. How's uh, that one look compared to the ST Max? Looks good. It does look a little more compact. Okay. Um, Matte finish. Yeah, the matte finish. I we like, like the matte finish. finish. I do like matte finish. It sounded a little more like muted almost. Mm hmm. Yep. Ooh, there's some speed. Ball speed's yep. fast. Wow. Okay. The spin went up on this one though, so the okay. carry distance was actually very similar for, yeah. for those two. Interesting, that didn't feel like it was going to go out to the right. I will say when I set this down, it looks open. It does. Okay. It does. I mean, it specifically looks open. I'm I'm a little more sensitive to it being shut. I freak yeah. out a little bit. Well, I feel like we're going to have but, a difference in dispersion then between this one and the last class. Yes, I, I definitely think so. Is, one, is it going to get 140? It is going to get 140 ball speed. And so you have a four hybrid in the bag. I do. What's uh, you know, that one's obviously a custom fit for you, and yep. you have all the, but typically carry distance. How do you play that? Two fifteen. Okay. Yeah. That was a bullet. Okay. Definitely right. more right sided. Yes. I think that's Though, I mean, seriously, when I, when I put, just put it down, it rolls open. It wants really? to, it really wants to sit open. Interesting. Like Interesting. It, it just kind of wiggle it and let it sit. It rolls right open. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so this is our dispersion pattern. Hmm. We got the, the kind of the bunch over here. And there was actually the other one I, I, I removed just for, it was kind of the, the one. The one that I was, chunked? Yeah, the one that was yeah. under 3,000 spin, yeah. but it was also right here, I mean, in okay. that collection. Okay. And so, um, pretty clear difference there. Obviously, yep. the, the draw tendency of the ST Max is on display and the sort of not draw tendency of the dark speed. For um, sure. Interesting that you hit both with the same exact club speed on average, but oh. the one had a, the dark speed had much more speed packed in there. On, yes. On average. Launch so, angle was a bunch lower. Yeah, it was. Spin was lower. Subsequently, distance was longer. Yeah. Height was less. Landing angle was not as good. So, like with a hybrid, what's your what are you hoping for a landing angle? Forty-five plus. Forty-five. Absolutely. Okay. We basically want to try and match up whatever our seven iron landing angle number is. We want to try and keep that consistent as, as through, far as we can through go. any club that you're trying to land on the green. Absolutely. You know? Okay. Yep. Okay. So, so this felt really good and really hot. Yeah. Um, the trajectory worries me a little bit, and landing angle worries me yeah. a little bit. So. I mean, potentially we try it as a five hybrid in, right, in a yeah. fitting, right? Right. Make sure that we get the right numbers. So, all right. Well, now we can go to TaylorMade QI10. Cool. How's that one look? Different, a little bit. 
So, Bigger, smaller, same size. So about the same size. I okay. mean, it, it's it's certainly not a not a not a gigantic head. It's not the most compact either. What is is different to me is it looks like the face is kind of onset. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So I'm seeing a lot of a lot of face ahead of the okay. where the shaft goes in. So that's that's a little bit different. Um, and it looks it looks like it gets wider up here. Oh, in okay. The, in the toe as well. So, just my maybe a my, little more forgiveness on the toe swings. Maybe well, that would be a good thing for me because I tend to live yeah. in that toe side of things. Okay. Felt pretty good. Okay. Wow, very high. Yeah. Another one. No problem getting the ball in the air. It struck a little better. Yeah. Holy spin on that one. Okay. Wow. 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 You feel like you're hitting with a lot of spin? Not really. Yeah. Yeah. Like nothing like, does it feel like it's a low face? I no, mean, it huh. might be a little bit. No, they felt they felt solid, really. Now that one, I didn't feel like I hit that solid. Yeah, there's a spin getting knocked down, but look how high it's still going. Yeah. That was the best strike of the group. Okay. That's still very high and yep. with a plenty of spin. Good bit of spin, yes. So the QI-10. Yep. Um, we saw a, a big jump back up in spin and launch in yeah. this one compared to the yeah. dark speed. So this felt really good, and I really thought impact was pretty good. We yeah, got, we can look at we, that. What do we got? What do we have for impact? Because let's go. Yeah. Okay. Pretty good. So yeah, we can go individually here, but we yeah. can see you know staying a little bit uh, lower on the face on some of them, but that's kind of how it's been all day. Yeah. So yeah, I mean you're you're hovering right around the middle. Yeah. So just a quick physics lesson on, on wood heads. Yeah. Anything that's caught to the heel side of the vertical center line is going to tend to spin more. Yeah. Anything caught south of the horizontal center line tends to spin more. Yeah. And this guy right down here is the quadrant of death where, yep, where shots go to die. <laughs> yep, yep, where the... Least amount of ball speed, most amount of spin. Avoid that spot. Yeah. Um, this actually felt really good. And I love the trajectory. Uh, yeah, forty-nine degree 49 landing, landing angle. angle. That's 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 an asset, not a liability. Right. Um, you know, forty-four hundred RPM of spins a little bit much, maybe, but not, you know, it's not crazy. Yeah. So because of the spin and such a high, you know, launch, the carry did drop. So yeah, you know, in this particular test, it was the shortest so far. Yeah. Um, um, it was also interesting that it wasn't, in terms of ball speed, you were lower yeah. too. Um, you swung yeah. it faster, had, had lower ball speed. Yeah. So the smash factor was not nearly as efficient as these other two. So, interesting. Welcome to golf. Yeah. All, All right. right. Callaway, Paradigm AI Smoke. Okay. So from a shape standpoint, it looks very much like the Mizuno. Really? Yep. About the same size, okay. about the same shape. Is that a matte finish on this one? It is a matte finish ah. on this one, yes. Immediately drawn to it. Wow. Yeah. Very good. All right. I will say this is the first time I've hit this shaft. This is the Cypher 70 stiff. Okay. So Cypher's been one of the, the really lightweight shafts that we've we've seen come in. So this is a little... Uh, it's a different one compared to most Cypher models yes, that we've seen before. Absolutely. That felt fast. It looks like it was pretty fast. Okay. 148 smash. Nice. Ooh, there's some speed. Yes. Mm hmm And some height and some good spin. Good numbers. Ooh, that one was hit well. That sounded good. Yep. Oh, I like that one. Okay, that Another one. Just, that was a little healy, but that was okay. 
Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we've got, uh, I guess that one's probably the... Yeah, the uh, last one was the one that was really the the big miss. I suppose, yeah. This one maybe in a sense, because of the one four two, although it's just a knock, I mean, it's the yeah, knuckleball Yeah, I, I must have caught just a little behind it, took some of the I'll just take it out. Okay. That's um, fine. Paradigm AI smoke. Yeah. Club speed a little bit slower, probably because of the little heavier shaft maybe than the others, or? No, the Cobra was 85 grams. Was it? Okay, interesting. The uh, the link is in the 70s. Oh, okay, so never mind. So, I, yeah. I'm uh, talking on a turn on that one. Um, <laughs> the spin went back down to kind of closer to the dark speed, yeah. as did the landing angle. Now, the landing angle is okay. still, I guess, in a much better position for you still than good. Like, dark speed. Yeah. yeah. 42, 42, definitely 44, two is good. So, um, what else do you see here with the uh, Paradigm? Um, AI smoke. Most accurate, really, I yeah, think. Yeah, kind of. Well, this one and the, and the ST Max were the, the two most accurate. Um, or sorry, no, sorry, the QI-10. A mm -hmm. um, little more draw bias on the Mizuno. Yeah. Definitely a little more fade bias on the dark speed. Yeah, and then it um, seems like the QI-10 and the I would Paradigm think, AI Smoke are kind of right in the middle there. I would think for my own purposes, if I was going to grab one based on what we saw here, this would be the this would be the ticket. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. It's also one of the most efficient at 147 Smash. Yep. Swung at the slowest, but I got... Second, Second ball fastest speed. ball speed? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Work smarter, not harder. It's a lesson to take home with you. Yeah. <laughs> um, height, well over 100 feet, so no yep. issues there. I mean, it, it, this, it does seem like if you're trying to get the best of all of these different aspects and, and sort of get the best of all the different things in terms of speed and launch and height, and it seems like the Paradigm AI Smoke is sort yep. of performing well enough in all of the areas, right? Yes, definitely. Um, so... But yeah, let's uh let's let's wrap it up here. We'll talk cool. performance, we'll talk look, feel, sound. All right, Kevin, yeah. testing complete yep. of the hybrids, best of and early part of the year, um, best 2024 hybrids. The four models here. Um, I thought it was kind of interesting. We saw it very distinctly different, I feel like, results from each model. There was yeah. like a, a maybe a strength that each one has. Yeah. And sort of because of that, it, it's going to appeal to a wide range of players this category because sure. There's so many different advantages. Yeah. So um, let's talk about performance to start here. Yeah. Um, I know you kind of hinted at it already, but kind of for this test and what you think your number one performing hybrid of this test. Yeah, I like I like the the Callaway the, the best of yeah. this group um, because it got a good amount of height, really good ball speed. Mm -hmm. It covered the number that I'm looking to cover exactly the right way. And this is what's why it's so important to do a fitting because when you come in, you're going to have a particular number that you want to accomplish, right? Yeah. I wanted something in that 215 range. Yeah. 220 is a little long, 210 is a little short. I mean, that's being a little bit picky, but at the same no, time, I, you know, that's, that's, that's what the I number need, you need, right? Yeah. So everybody's going to have a different need. So we work to find something that gives you exactly what you need. If you need, you know, a little extra trajectory, okay, QI10 might be might be a good option, or yep. the Mizuno uh, ST yep. Max might be a good option. If you need more spin, either of those two also might be a little bit better. If you need a golf club that helps go a little more to the left, Mizuno really yep. provided that. If you need something that goes to the right, Dark Speed definitely provided yeah. that. So we've got we do have four different clubs that did four very different things, um, mm -hmm. and and they're all good in their own way. Uh, right? Yeah, it's going to so, be dependent on what you yeah. are looking for out yeah. of a hybrid. If you want just a ton of ball speed and distance. Dark speed's probably going to be your winner based on this. Yep. You got a ton of ball speed there, yep. ton of distance. So um, exactly it, it, like Kevin said, go get fit. Make sure you know which one is best for your game. So uh, talking in innovation now, um, you know it, uh, we've talked through so many of these best ofs about <laughs> the uh, AI smoke and the smart face. Um, which of these is your favorite in that department? So I'm still leaning on on my hybrid on the Cobra side of things. Yeah. So uh, this is an updated version of what they've had in the past and it's good. Yeah. Like, I like it, it's it's really nice. Um, this is an updated version of what TaylorMade's had in the past. This is brand new, right? Yeah. The Mizuno we hadn't had before. So uh, really good on them for, for bringing this to the market, but I'm still gonna go Callaway for, for innovation. For the smart face. Smart yep. face, my goodness. I mean, it just, it really does it does what it says it's gonna do. Yeah. It's like it's like twist face. Yeah. With, with 
tailor-made. Twistface is it's a marketing campaign, but it does exactly what it's supposed right. to do. Yeah. And it wasn't even something that that didn't already exist in the in the in the in the game. But Taylor made to their credit said, nobody's called this anything. We're gonna <laughs> name this thing. Yeah. And it does what it's supposed to do. This face with its various impact locations and the AI tech that's in it does what it says it's gonna do. Mm -hmm. We're getting better ball speeds off of this head compared to last generation yep. in a bunch of different locations. Yep. And it's all positive. So uh, yep, they, do, they, they changed up their testing to design the faces as well. Yes. The, the AI supercomputers develop the face iterations, but yes. the testing and the data is created and generated by human swings. Which is so, awesome because yeah. you can vary up a robot, but you're never going to make it exactly the way, yeah. you know, you're going to watch me stand here and I'm going to hit it this way and I'm going to hit it this way and I'm going to hit it low and I'm going to hit it high and I'm going to yeah. hit it all over the place. So, you know, that human testing, I think, is really part of mm -hmm. what allowed them to achieve what they have with yeah. this golf club. Yeah, it was a very smart it was a very smart face. So, I see what you did there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I make jokes around here sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I hit, sometimes I don't. But um, the best of hybrids 2024, yeah. this is the early part of the year. We got some good testing here. The last portion we want to talk about is look, feel, sound. Um, and we, I know as a very aesthetically oriented mm -hmm. golfer, such as Kevin Kraft, uh, it also is, you know, uh, dependent on the player's preferences. But it is. what is your preference? From a look four? standpoint, it's not a big departure from from what I do play, so I really like the look of the the dark speed, mm -hmm. um, sound and feel. Um, I'm going Callaway. Okay. I was really impressed with with both the sound and the feel of this. Taylor made not far behind in the sound category and and feel category. It looks a little weird to the, the just with the face. Yeah, being it's, it's, on it's, set. It's you really said. yeah. The face yeah. looks like it's very this way, and it looks like it's got a big toe and. I don't know. There, there, hmm. there have been a lot of iterations of hybrids that have been out through the years that I have not liked at all. Okay. Uh, this is not one, right? Yeah. This is. I didn't look at this and just you know, yeah. But <laughs> it's. Uh, there have been some out there that were really mm. hideous. Okay. And uh, none of these is in that category. These are all decent looking yeah. hybrids. But I think. Uh, okay. I like the Callaway the best. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Callaway AI Smoke kind of wins a couple categories here. But um, you've heard your. That, or I guess your feedback, your, uh, what you're going to hear from Kevin in this test yes. here. And for the new hybrids of 2024, make sure you go get fit and decide for yourself which is best for you. As Kevin mentioned earlier, they'll get you taken care of. Make sure the hybrid that you choose here, or which one's best for you, will be suited for your game. Yes. And help you play better. So, yep. Kevin, thanks for hitting the shots and providing all your insight today. My pleasure. Great stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, fun.